Okay, if any one of those incidents in the life of Joseph hadn't happened, then Jesus would never have lived to become our Saviour and pay the ultimate sacrifice for the sins of the whole world. But he did, didn't he? And God's plan was fulfilled, and the Lord Jesus Christ is our living hope. And while we'll wait for his return, we have the opportunity to honour his request that we remember his sacrifice on the cross. Jesus asked us to do this, so that's what we're doing here this morning. We're remembering and we're honouring Jesus' wishes that we celebrate Holy Communion together as a church family. Let us remember that the Lord Jesus Christ, on the same night that he was betrayed, he took the bread, and when he had given you thanks, he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same way, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given you thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink all of this. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And would you like to come now? collect the bread and the cup. Okay, is everyone served? Right. Okay. Please take bread. This bread represents the body of Christ, the bread of life himself. Let's eat together. Lord, in the bread we not only have your presence, but Lord, we have our healing for it was your body that was beaten and whipped and pierced by nails. And the scripture says that by your stripes we were healed. And Lord, we receive that into our bodies this morning, even as we take these symbols of the body of Christ. We receive that everything that you achieve by the sacrifice of your body. Amen. If you take the cup. This cup represents the blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Amen. Let's drink together. so grateful Lord that you shed your blood and that it ever lives to intercede for us
for the forgiveness of sins. Lord, it's by a shedding of every drop of that blood, Lord, that we are set free. Yeah. And we are reunited with you, and we're just so grateful, Lord, that you have reconciled us to God through the shedding of your blood. Let's pray. Lord Jesus Christ, as we've received these gifts of bread and juice, you have put your life into our hands, and now we put our lives into yours. And we're so grateful. Take us, renew us, remake us. What we have been is past and what we shall be through you still awaits us. Lead us on and take us with you. In Jesus' name, amen.